Alabasta, and how do we kick that the Alabasta saga? We kick it off with the reverse mountain arc. Oh yeah. Um. So the goal is to get to the Grand Line. They just got out of Logue Town, and, and they head going, towards head towards the Grand Line, yeah. which is an know, ocean, right? It's it's kind of an ocean. This is the world. I'm if for the editing portion of this, I'm putting a map up. The the North Blue, the South Blue, the East Blue, the West Blue, and then in the middle of all of those. Oh, it's like an equator. This, yeah, it's kind of like the equator. Yeah. So yeah. it's not like an ocean, but it's like. I don't know how you would call that in geography terms. Yeah. But they call it, they call it, you know, they kind of say like. It's a the big sea. part of the ocean. Yeah. They, it's a big part of the ocean that's just this big line that's circulating the entirety of the world. To get over and to get into it, they have to go through some trials and tribulations first. And Nami eventually points out that they have to go to the reverse mountain to get to the Grand Line. Yes. Zoro's like, why can't we just go south? But I, you know, I apparently they you know they can't yeah they can't and suddenly they run into the com belt the com belt yeah. seemed pretty scary because no winds no currents yes and a bunch of like sea monsters like all around them. the sea kings come up because this is the first time that they're mentioned yes they try to row back to the storm and the sea kings begin to rise up and they're yeah. basically huge sea monsters I, you kind of i guess they're the ones that they show like in the first opening of one piece yeah those giant like things <laughs> yeah one looks like a cow one looks like a like a bird but it's like it has like a fluffy neck or something like yeah, that definitely i guess those are sea kings yeah, they're, they're, it's just so weird fish hybrid animals you know what do you think about reverse mountain like the the, uh, the it just seems wacky the, the geography like... of it is screwed because you know the they're current. going up and they're you know like it seemed absurd. like no way this would be real but it just seemed like wacky you know so like okay this is you know it's fun no, it's like definitely. a big old water slide like it goes up and then like kind of they propel they kind of leave like the water for a second yeah, in the sky yeah, yeah. i'm like i'm out no way like <laughs> that, that's like way too dangerous yeah. it's like splash mountain but like way yeah. worse and it's crazy because they lost like all control because the rudder breaks and they're like yeah. they're just go it's like they're going down splash mountain but they could die yeah uh i'm still convinced you can die in splash mountain but, oh yeah. yeah they're coming down they're coming down and they, they run into like some giant whale yeah laboon laboon uh yeah. yeah it's like in the way luffy doesn't get swallowed but eventually he goes in there yes and then i think this at first like when i saw read this i'm like what the heck there's like an island inside laboon with the sky yeah yeah which is crazy um, but laboon is huge you know yeah he it is, is just ginormous is, yeah but so so the reasoning behind that is and you read it more recently than me but i believe that that the people of alabasta has been experimenting on laboon and they have yeah because there's like you know, metal inside him or something yeah there like was that. metal and there and there's some stuff in there and of course this is also the arc that we get introduced to people like mr nine and miss wednesday yeah. um, i believe they run into crocus or crocus yes crocus as well crocus first um, uh very mysterious man you know uh yeah um just a dude seen, with sandals and a newspaper yeah he's seen <laughs> yeah he's seen nice though yeah. he, he said he's looking after laboon yeah luffy eventually runs into mr nine and miss wednesday trying to save the straw hats they they reveal that they're trying to kill the whale to feed their village or yeah island or something like that even though laboon you know swallow the ship it's just to our, from our perspective it's just an animal we think whale is like nice creatures like in the real yeah. world so we don't it's not a good look for mr nine and miss wednesday so they already kind of seem like antagonistic and they kind of seem like jerks and i think they try attacking luffy if i remember correctly. yeah they shoot laboon and then yeah. they and then luffy just kind of beats him up they're not really this arc isn't really the arc that has like villains in it they're kind of more like the people of gang you know yeah, from yeah. dragon ball but inside why is he ramming his head on his wall you know he's got a big scar on laboon has like this ginormous scar and crocus basically says that laboon came to the grand line with a pirate crew yeah. And he's been waiting 50 years. Yeah, they left them. They said yeah. they, they returned, but, you know, yeah. 50 years. It's really and they, sad, right? Yeah, they're like, yeah. those pirates, like, suck. Like, yeah. oh, I want to... And I think what, what happens... I don't know if he mentions... I don't know if he mentions them later or at this first time moment. Mm -hmm. Well, eventually they leave. I, I think they, they exit they exit the whale one way. And then he yes, tells them... Do. And then he tells them, we thought that he died, or I told Laboon that they died. But apparently I heard somewhere that they left and they just never came back. Yeah. That sucks. That is like... Yeah, and it was a yeah. moment I'm like, man, it's like a Hachi, like the dog moment where he's just waiting yeah. for the master to come back. That yeah, sucks. Like, but, like, but I already mean, got me feeling up. Like, also, screw those pirates. You also How to... dare you leave Laboon? <laughs> like, I'm already on this whale side. <laughs> I hope they died. Uh, 
<laughs> that uh, screwed but you. But you also have to remember, and I think the reasoning was basically they couldn't bring. I don't think I don't think Crocus said. Crocus, I don't think said that he heard him. I think Crocus just assumed that they left because the grand line is so awful. You know, like he's I like, don't care, you know, man. How are you gonna how are you yeah. gonna leave Laboon like that? Yeah. This poor whale's like hitting his head, believing that is screw. I don't care who you are, man. They suck. You gotta regret that. But anyway, you yeah. know. Well, actually, Crocus apparently told Laboon. Yeah, he told him. He's he like, yeah, them, you should probably yeah. just give up because they just And Laboon refused. Yeah. So there they has, would never leave know, me. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Which is just. Oh. That's, I know. It, it made me sad. Like already off the off the start, we have such an emotional moment like with Laboon. Which is really great. Miss Nine and Mr. Wednesday get like knocked around. And they don't like Luffy and they don't like the Straw Hats. So like, we're going to come They're back. Like, like, we're going to get to you. Like, well, you suck. Someday. <laughs> and then eventually Crocus helps them out mm -hmm. and, and, and mentions that they have to. The way to travel through the Grand Line is through a log pose. Is log what poses, revealed. yeah. Um, how you like those? You like those? Yeah, like, it's nice. Nice little good it ways just, to get it, to the next It just place. goes to show that traveling through the Grand Line is super difficult. Yeah. With If you don't have a log pose... You're screwed. Yeah. At least and from what we know. Good thing they found Laboon, too. Because the magnetic fields <laughs> just throw everything around, and then the mm -hmm. storms constantly change. Yeah. So, so, there's, so there's no way to tell, like, a normal navigator, like yeah. Nami. There's no way to tell. Regular yeah. compasses don't work. Yeah. Luffy, upon hearing all this information uh, with Laboon ramming his head mm -hmm. into the mountain, Luffy gets the mast of the going mary and then plunges it into one of, into one of the wounds yeah. uh of, of the of laboon and then right. like and then they start like fighting i'm like what is going on i'm like <laughs> like luffy and then it and then luffy like tells him next time we meet each other and we will we're gonna fight every time we see each other and that makes laboon happy and that's just like a real nice moment and then Le luffy like paints the the, jo the jolly roger yeah like that, the, that's what he calls it yeah, yeah. makes yeah. laboon happy gives him something to look forward to which is you know really pleasant to hear yeah that's great and he tells him not to bash his head on and you know uh, like hey stop. don't do that don't, <laughs> be, don't be a dumb dumb hey why don't you not do that please <laughs> 